What's up guys, my name is Billy, and today I wanted to bring you guys a quick Final Cut Pro tip video. I don't do many of these, but after one of my last videos, Summer's End, I posted, I had a lot of comments and a lot of people asking me how I did my transitions and made them so clean. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys just how to do that. It's super simple. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll throw the link of that video in the description so you can watch it. It's a pretty good video I made a couple days ago. And then also, I will put an uh, example of what I mean up on the screen for you to see. So pretty much how all this starts is what you're going to do is when you're shooting your actual video, as you can see I just took a little example shot outside, you're going to want to plan out your shots and then from here as you can see I'm moving along slowly, it starts to move downwards towards the way that I want to transition. And then going to your next shot, starting at the beginning, as you can see I start down towards my right and then I bring it up into the frame. It's a little bit quick, but as you guys can see, that's what makes it look so fluid if you make sure that the shot is quick um, or the transition is quick. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna drag our first clip in and then go ahead and figure out exactly where it starts to move. So just go, use the arrow key, go frame by frame, and right here, as you can see, it uh, goes from just staying there and then it starts to move. So I'm gonna hit Command B, and that's the blade tool, and that will separate those two clips. Then what you're going to do is drag in your second clip. You can cut out this very beginning part. Uh, I usually just do that to set the camera up and get it all ready. Uh, but what you're going to want to do is also hit the arrow key, go frame by frame, and find out exactly where you start to transition. So right here, as you can see, the camera starts to move. I'll hit Command B again, and then you can delete that first clip right there or that first segment. Uh, so right here what we're going to do is go through this a little bit finer and look for the exact moment. I like to go about halfway down so as you can see it goes from being horizontal to vertical. That's where I will do command B again and then you can delete the rest of it. And then here again you're going to want to wait until you go about horizontal which is oddly enough right there. Hit command B and if it's super small you just want to zoom in and delete that little clip right there. So we'll zoom back out and now what we have here is a pretty fluid transition. Uh, we're gonna make it a little bit cleaner but just to give you guys a preview we'll go frame by frame here as you can see it will transition right into this next frame and it looks nice and everything but what you're gonna do is head over to, to transitions over here and type in directional uh, pretty much if you type it in you have all these transitions listed here but if you type in directional it'll come up right there for you. Pull that, drag it in and put it in between these two clips, I'll zoom in so you guys can see better, uh, put it in between these two clips right here. So after adding the directional transition, what you want to do is make sure it's highlighted and make sure over here you click these little dots. These are the uh, settings over here, uh, the inspector. So what you want to do is take this little hand here, this little arrow, and flip it all the way around. And this is not going to be the same for every video or for every transition. You're going to want to do this depending on what the transition looks like. So if it's going up and down, if it's coming, if it's coming down, what you're going to do is bring the arrow down here. But as you guys saw, I'm going towards the left, so I'm going to keep my direction going towards the left. So once you export it, this is what you should have. Super clean transition, in my opinion, I think it will make your video look a lot better. You just implement these within different shots and whatnot, and it's not going to look so bland cutting in and out of each scene. Uh, so that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. Now, I'm not the best Final Cut Pro editor. I'm not the, really the best editor even at all. Uh, but as I learn, I definitely would like to share my knowledge with you guys. Uh, so if you guys liked it, definitely give me a like. And if you guys are also new around here, definitely subscribe as I'm trying to post daily. Uh, but that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.